We are ready for the business of the day and the motion is simple. Nigeria's independence, did it take place at the right time? It will be the ferocious head-to-head -head encounter all the way. Oluwatoyibo, you will begin by arguing for the affirmative. Good day, illustrious panel of judges, ladies and gentlemen. A nation recorded a literacy rate of 5% before independence, but now boasts of a literacy rate of 30%. That same nation recorded an infant mortality rate of 220 deaths per 1,000 births before independence. Now records less than 100 deaths per 1,000 births after independence. That same nation with fewer than five universities at independence currently boasts of 100 universities who produce 250,000 graduates annually. You would agree with me that that nation, Nigeria, deserves to be celebrated. These statistics provided by the African Union Journal lend credence to the fact that Nigeria has done more for herself in 49 years of independence than the colonial masters did in about 100 years. If we had gotten independence before 1960, our socio-economic structure would have collapsed under the burden of freedom. After 1960, we might have been second-class citizens in our country like Zimbabwe. 1960 was the right time. Thank you for listening. My goodness, that was a fierce encounter. Oluwa Tonyibo, I will now hand you over to the judges for cross-examination. Um, I would like you to explain why you think that civil war is um, a process, a necessary process of independence. I thought that was interesting. Uh, uh, with all due respect, ma'am, I put it this way. Civil wars are generally a part of the evolutionary process in national development. We have many examples. I cited a couple of them. The Orange Revolution of Ukraine. Uh, we had the Velvet Revolution of the Czech Republic. The American Revolution itself. Fine, but why? <laughs> Because when you have an, ag uh, an aggregation of different people, there are bound to be differences. If a room is filled with different people, somebody is going to step on your toes. But we understand that it's a part of the process because through those difficulties, people get to know each other a lot better and then we can move ahead.